Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Talar Khan here and continuing the SR flip flop. This is where we ended the last video. This was what the truth table for SR flip flop, and I can write a truth table for SR flip flop, and I can write it in another way. Now you need to understand this way, okay? Now you have what? The inputs are same. You have the inputs clock S and R. In the output, we make a difference. I represent the output as QN plus 1. Now what is this QN plus 1? So this QN plus 1 represents the next state. I mean if QN is the present state so QN plus 1 would be what? It would be the next state. And in flip-flops we start we talk about present and next states. Alright? So now this QN plus 1 is the next state. Now filling this uh, in the same way okay then we have a zero, uh, 1 0 1 0 0 sorry 1 0 1 1 1 0 and 1 1 1 all right now what to do if you have a look so the first state that is a 0 x x this corresponds to the memory state and what is memory that whatever was the previous output the next output is the same which means that q n plus 1 is equal to q n that is the change I'm talking about. Next we have, again, if the clock is 1, S, and R, 0, 0, we have again memory, which means that again we have QN plus 1 equal to QN, which means that the present state or the next state is equal to the present state or the present state is equal to the previous state. Then when you have a 1, 0, 1, so then the output is 0. We don't need to mention the Q complement as over here, then the QN plus 1 complement, you'll be writing QN complement and zeros complement is 1. For the next state, you have the output as 1, which means the next state is 1, so you will be writing as a complement 0, so we don't need to write that, okay? We know it's a complement, so that will be the opposite. And finally, it is the invalid state. So I believe you understood this, that the next state, we find it out, with the help of what? With the help of the previous state. All right. So this was the truth table for the SR flip flop. Next in line is the characteristic table. So I'm removing this, and we will be from now on, we will be using this sort of a truth table. Okay, this sort of thing. Okay. Now the next is characteristic table which we draw with the help of the truth table characteristic characteristic table which we draw with the help of SR flip-flop and in this we obtain the QN plus 1 which means the next state is obtained from what? you know it depends from the present from uh, on the present inputs that an S and R and also on the previous output which means QN all right so we have the inputs in the characteristic table as QN S and R and the output is Q and plus 1 is that clear okay now you give it the combination so we have three inputs so we'll have eight possible combinations so let me write it down 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. All right, then again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And finally, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Now, to check for the outputs, you will be referring back to this table. Okay? Now, when it's in R, 0, 0, both, so the next state is equal to the previous state, which means that QN plus 1 is equal to QN. 
and we have qn is equal to 0, so we have a 0 over here. Fine? Then when, uh, when you have uh, 0, 1, 0, 1, so the output is 0. All right? The output is 0. If you have 1, 0, so the output is 1. Then if you have 1, 1, so this is an invalid state, which means I can put a don't care over here across, okay? Then again, if you have a 0, 0, so it back equals to the Qn, which means Qn plus 1 is equal to Qn, so 1 is equal to this 1. If you have a 0, 1, the output is 0. If you have a 1, 0, the output is 1. And again, if you have a 1, 1, so an invalid state, and I represent it by a don't care. So we have the next state as 0, 0, 1, don't care, 1, 0, 1, and don't care. All right. Now the next thing in line is the excitation table. The next is excitation table. Now what do we do in the excitation table? In the excitation table, we determine the present inputs from the pre from the present state and the previous state. How is that? It means we determine S and R from QN and QN plus 1. All right. So, which means <coughs> that the inputs in the excitation will be this QN and QN plus 1 and the outputs of the excitation table would be S and R. An excitation table, we draw it with the help of this characteristic table. All right. So now if you have uh, the possible inputs are uh, Qn and Qn plus 1. So the possible outputs are S and R and four possible combinations are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. <coughs> Sorry. Now you have to refer to that table. And I have to make it colorful for you guys to understand it in a better way. So now I make this a 0, 1 in this color, 1, 0 with the red color, and 1, 1 finally with the green color. Now what do you have? 0, 0, when Qn is 0, and Qn plus 1 both are 0. So you have a look over here. These two are the cases. Isn't it so? Do we have any other case? No. So in this case, we have what? Qn and Qn plus 1, both 0. And S is 0 for this case. And R for 1 is 0, for the other is 1, which means R over here, we place a don't care. <coughs> Clear? Now for 0, 1, when Qn is 0 and Qn uh, 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 plus 1 is 1, so this is the case. So I, I will replace it like this. This is the case, 0, 1, and then we have, we don't treat the don't cares in this. And then we have no other case. So this is the only case when uh, 0 and 1. So in this case, S is 1 and R is 0. All right. Now when QN is 1 and QN plus 1 is 0. So when QN is 1 and QN plus 1 is 0, so this is the only case. All right, this one. Qn, Qn is 1 and Qn plus 1 is uh, 0. So we have S is equal to 0 and R is equal to 1 in this case. S is equal to 0 and R is equal to 1. Okay, let me make this colorful as well. So you will understand it better. And if I may, or oh, oh, let it be. If I am, or I make it, okay. So I make this in the black color as well, so this then that you can correlate. All right, and finally for the green color, when both of them are one, so we have the only case, uh, we have two cases for this, uh, which is this one, okay? So I remove it, this case and this case. So I have a one, zero, zero, one over here, okay? One, zero, zero, one, and over here I have a one, one, zero, one. 1, 1, 0, 1. So this is now the next case. 
the final case, okay? When you have Qn as 1 and Qn plus 1 as 1. So have a look in this case. The R is always 0 in both the cases, whereas S is 0 in one case and 1 in the other, so we have a don't care over here. Now this is what? This is the excitation table for, for what? For SR flip-flop. Now you can do what? You can find the values. The output is QN plus 1, okay? In the truth table that you know. Now in the characteristic table, again QN plus 1, so you can determine it from what? From, uh, by using the K-maps, all right? So let's say I have a K-map, an 8-cell K-map I'll be requiring. I hope this place fills up. Yes, it does. You have QN as the most significant bit and then you have SNR, okay? So 0, 1. You have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Now you fill them up. So you have a 0, 0, 1, don't care. And 1, 0, 1, don't care. 1, 0, 1, don't care. So now you group them up. You group them up. And so this would be the first group, the group of fours. And let me write it down as well. So QN plus 1 is equal to, so in this case we have QN is changing and we have S not changing. S not changing, all right? Uh, yes. And then all the way, the second group is this one. From the map rolling, let's say, from the corners that we have, like this, okay? So in this case, we have uh, QN not changing, and we also have uh, R complement not changing. So S all the way, QN, and with R complement, this is from the characteristic table, the equation for QN plus 1. Similarly, you can have uh, for the values for S and R from the excitation table, all right? So for S, let's say I draw uh, a four-cell map. So you have a QN over here and QN plus one over here, okay? QN is the most significant bit. Uh, then you have what? For S, you have 0, 1, 0, X, 0, 1, 0, X. So the only group that is possible is this one, right? So which means you have S equal to, this is 0, 1, this is 0, 1. And in this case, you have S equal to QN plus 1. Isn't it so? S is equal to QN plus 1, yes. Okay, and similarly, if you have it for 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 what for r so let's i need a little space over here so i draw it over here okay so if this is for r q n q uh, n plus one you have a zero one zero one so this would be x zero one zero x zero one zero and similarly again we have the same group another group but a group of two so r is equal to in this case it is qn plus one complement all right and if you have a look from here so r is qn plus one's complement one zero for zero one for one again zero for zero don't get so you can treat that as a one as we have treated in this case and in this case as well so that's all about it okay you are introduced to some new things to Present state, next state, first of all, then you have the truth table, you have the characteristic table, and you have the excitation table. What you need to do is, first you need to have the truth table. That is conceptual, okay? Truth table will help you uh, find the characteristic table. And finally, the characteristic table will lead you to the excitation table. Okay, and what do we have in the truth table that you know? We have the present inputs and we have the present outputs. Okay, truth table we have present inputs, present outputs. In the characteristic table, we have the present inputs and the previous output, and we determine the present output. All right, and from the excitation table, we have the present output, we have the previous output, and we want to find the present inputs. All right. So if I, if I write it over here somewhere, uh, where should I write it? Let's say I remove, remove, what? 
let's say I remove this part of it. Okay. So let me write it down for you so that you then re remember it. Okay. Or let me draw a complete table. Okay. If uh, you have uh, the truth table, you have the characteristic table, you have the excitation table. All right. And now in this, what is available to you and what is required from you? So in the truth table, the available is the present inputs, present inputs, all right? And the required is present output. For the characteristic table, you have present inputs, present inputs plus previous output. And what you require is the same uh, present output. For the excitation table, you have the present output and you have the previous output. And what you need, what you need to find are the present inputs, which mean S and R, okay? So that's about it. It's all about today. See you in the next lecture where we discuss some other flip-flop. Till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you and do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Goodbye.